we feel right now like, well, we almost feel sometimes like we're on the losing side, don't we? That's not the end of the story. What God is doing today will greatly surprise us. Here in the 72nd Psalm, verse 16 says, There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. What a strange place to grow corn. Well, down in South America, there's a handful of corn growing on a mountain top, isn't there? From the corn of wheat that fell into the ground and died, that it might not abide alone, what a mighty harvest there will be. May I tell you a little story for your encouragement? We had our brother uh, Carl Lehman at our assembly, and he told a story about a young missionary going to South America. He was in the Miami airport waiting for his flight, reading a little uh, magazine, and there was an article describing some horrific event, and on the top, the word why in red. He tore off the title, and he wrote a little note to his mother and said, Mother, we don't always understand why, but the Lord knows why. Put it in an envelope and sent it off to his mother. Got on the flight, they flew down, and uh, the plane coming in on its approach smashed into a mountain, and everyone was killed on board. He never even made it to the mission field. Several years went by. A young lady missionary was working her way through the little villages up in the mountains, not far from the crash site, and she came to one village where most of the villagers were saved. She asked them, how did it ever, how did the gospel come to you? A man went into his house and he brought out a charred briefcase, opened up the briefcase, and inside was a Spanish Bible, and on the flyleaf, this young missionary's name from his mother. That's how. God's going to have a lot of surprises for us. Do you think the Lord Jesus was exaggerating when he said that some seed gets choked and some gets stolen and some withers away, but some produces 10,000% return on the investment? Do you think that's an exaggeration? I don't think so. I think it's really going to happen. And we will be tremendously surprised at what the harvest will be. You know, there are people who have the idea that when... Um, the Apostle Paul asked the question, uh, how shall they hear without a preacher? That his conclusion was they can't hear. Is that what he says? He says they have heard. They have heard. Listen, he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And if we think that heaven is a little place, that the Father's house is a bit, a bit tight, you know, he says my house will be filled filled that's his intention isn't it when they asked him the question are there few to be saved again we assume well he answered yes no he didn't answer yes there are a few that were called that will be saved because they refused but then go out into the highways and byways compel them to come in jesus said i see the day coming there will be few perhaps of you saved you who asked the question but i see them coming from the east and the west and the north and the south and sitting down with abraham isaac and jacob in the house of God in the kingdom of God I tell you it will be full God will see to it and we will be astounded at the methods and means that God has used to bring men and women to Christ 